and welcome to my Power BI basics series. So in the first video, we're going to keep it nice and simple. We're just going to be the equivalent of opening up Excel, finding your file, and then open it up and viewing your data. That's it. With that in mind, let's get on to Power BI. Okay, so there's two ways you can download Power BI. The most efficient way is via the Microsoft Store, where you can just download the file, install it, and then after that, it will automatically update. Now, there will be instances where, say, if you're using a work computer or anything that where there's admin, you will need to use the actual Power BI website. Power BI website, extremely easy to use you just search for power bi go to um, the site this is powerbi.microsoft.com and then the one that says desktop because desktop is the free version and then you can click on the parts where it says download for free or see downloads and options now if you click on download for free it will take you to the store and obviously if you can't download from the store you don't want to do that so if we go download our language options it will then take you to the part here where you'll see all the different details just to give you a sort of background of what the latest version is and which bits you can download the system requirements and everything so all you do is select your language and then click download if it's a 64-bit system or you are running the 32-bit system once you do that you select which one you want do next and then it starts the download once you downloaded Power BI and installed it, open up your Power BI and then it will open up what you see here. But now we're keeping it simple. We are just going to just import an Excel file. All you need to do is click on the import data from Excel. And then find the file which you want to import. And then once the data is imported, all you do is find what the actual table or tab is called, and then you just click on it and it's just the one here. And then you have the option to load or transform data. Now, if you just click load, you can just go straight in and see there, but if you click on transform data, this allows you to actually see the, not all the data set because it minimizes. So it's not all of it loads through and you can keep scrolling through to see most of it. So technically you can view the file, but here is where you're going to edit the headers and all the parts are in the right formats. If the date format was not in a format that you wished it to be, or it isn't even in date format, these can be changed around here. You can change it from date time. So say if you had a time stamp in there and you didn't want the timestamp you can just change it to date so on and so forth and then cleans up the data then year you can have this whole number or text if you wish and then all the other parts are what they should be so depending if there should be a number and thing here and then whenever you see no that actually means it's blank and that's how you would see it in power query but once you import this it will then show as a blank what else you'll notice is down the right we have an option with the name, so we can actually call it the data. So if we give it uh, a name, so give it a quick name like that, just to give you an idea of what it is, because later on we'll be adding additional tables. It's just then you'll be able to actually understand which one's which table. And then the applied steps are sort of like the steps that have cleaned up your data. So you can do a lot of cleaning up in the sort of the transform editor. And this will start with the first part, which is the source, which is when we clicked on the step. Imagine as these are sort of like recorded steps that you've done. We've opened up the file. That's where it's done here. And then we've clicked on the data and then imported. So then that's where the navigation's happened. And then from this point, we then want the headers to be promoted. So it's automatically done that. So it's promoted the headers. As you can see, they've gone from row one into the actual headers. So now we've got the right headers and then change type is sort of worked out. Okay, this is a date, change it to date. This is text, this is a number, this is a number and so on and so forth. 
So this is where that sort of um, steps come in. If you don't want those steps, you can edit them. Uh, every little bit is editable. So you can go in and then you can change different parts. And I'm not going to go into the full detail of what you've got here, but if you wanted to, you can actually see all the coding behind it. This is basically editor, but you don't have to. We could have just went in and just done load with this particular file, but it's always good just to go in, just double check that everything looks good. And then once you've done, change the name of your title, then you can click on close and apply. Now to view the data, very simply, you can just click on the little table thing over here. And then this will allow you to actually see all the data. And in here you can filter by anything. So we could go say Cuba, have a look, and then you got all the parts here. And then if we only wanted to see 2001, it never actually affects anything that you're putting on in here. But in here, you can actually just filter down and start viewing the data, arrange it, however you please. You can play around the data in there. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment below and let me know what you thought or if there's anything that you would like me to show uh, in future videos that would be useful to you. Thank you and bye.